एस एल टी पे आएगा भी सर इसका कब आएगा city of marmagao and the state of goa so what's in a date a lot if you have a date with such resonance symbolism as we have today 18 december is not just another date in the calendar but a date with history in many ways it was on 18th of december that ins marmagao was commissioned last year today marks a first to know that goa was the first to get colonized by the portuguese in 1510 ad and the last to become independent in 1961 liberation for the nation goa's liberation sounded the death knell for colonialism in india and heralded a resurgence of a truly independent and confident nation we reiterate a few administrative notes for the ceremony May I request all guests to kindly call on sailors, and you can reach out to them in case you need any assistance or have a query. You can reach. May I extend a very warm welcome to all the dignitaries and esteemed guests present here this evening. Shri uh, Rohan Khande, the Honorable Minister for Tourism, Admiral Arun Prakash, former Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Damle, Vice Admiral Ajit, former Commanders in Chief, Rear Admiral Shri Khande, Shri Sankal Amonkar, MLA Marbungao, Shri Krishna Salkar, MLA Vasco, Shri Girish Borkar. Chairperson Mamagao Municipal Council, esteemed veterans, eminent citizens from various walks of life across Goa, commanding officers, officer in charge, members of the media, and several other guests who have joined us this evening. Today's day is uh, momentous for a number of reasons. It's not just because uh, Shri Amita Bachchan has joined the Mumbai Indians today, uh, but also because it was on this day that last year that uh, this magnificent grey Ferrari was commissioned. The Honorable Chief Minister, along with the Honorable Governor, had kindly consented to be the guests of honor at the commissioning ceremony at Mumbai. Your presence, then, sir, had served to reassure us of the vote of confidence that we have of the Goa administration. As we celebrate Mamagao's first birthday, I do not think that my crew, uh, me and my crew, the proud flying owners of this platform, could have asked for a more befitting opportunity than to engage with our namesake port and her people. Today's day is also momentous for two other reasons. 18 December was the D-Day of Operation Vijay in 1961 that led to the liberation of Goa. Indeed, the commissioning of the warship on this day was planned with such an enduring connection in mind. This evening is also the eve of the Goa Liberation Day and fills us with pride to partake in the celebration, to be one with Goa spirit, figuratively and literally. I would not steal the thunder of my MCs any further. Uh, who would elaborate on these elements <coughs> as the evening's program, conceptualized around these themes, progresses? Once again, thank you very much for joining us today. Without further ado, over to the MCs. It was also a solemn occasion, since 18th December marked the 61st anniversary of Operation Vijay, the tri-service operation that led to Goa's liberation. something that is etched into my steel that resonates deeper with my commissioning as INS Mormugao the year was 
India was finally free. At the stroke of the midnight hour, when the world sleeps, India will awake to life and freedom. Yet the territories of Goa, Diu and Daman were continuing under 450 years of oppressive Portuguese rule. As India rose as a free nation, liberating these territories became a national priority. India chose diplomacy to resolve the issue with the Portuguese government. A resolution was attempted through negotiations in a non-violent manner. But the Portugal government remained steadfast and refused to surrender the territories. Meanwhile, the voices for Goa's independence grew louder across the country. An organized and dedicated anti-colonial movement emerged across Goa. But Portugal continued to disregard India's and United Nations pleas. In October 1961, Prime Minister Nehru declared the time had come to consider afresh what method should be adopted to free Goa. In November 1961, the first shots of Goa liberation were fired ironically at sea by the Portuguese. On 17 November 1961, an unarmed Indian passenger boat, Sabarmati, was fired upon by the Portuguese garrison on Anjali Island, resulting in injuries to the chief engineer. A week later, the garrison again provoked India by firing upon a group of fishing boats killing the fisherman and injuring four others. By December, the situation had reached a boil and India's patience had run out. Continuance of Goa under Portuguese rule is an impossibility, stated the Prime Minister as India launched Operation Vijay to liberate the territories on 18th December 1961. The Indian Navy headed by Admiral R.D. Katari, was quick to respond to the situation. The Navy put together a formidable task force under Rear Admiral B.S. Soman, the flag officer commanding Indian fleet. The task force was deployed off the three territories, operating in concert with the Indian Army and the Indian Air Force. Goa was the center of gravity of the entire operation. Although intelligence indicated presence of three Portuguese warships off Goa, the only warship present in Mongao Harbor was Alphonse de Albuquerque. Incidentally, the warship derived its name from the first Governor General of Portuguese territories in India in the 16th century. The ship had been supporting the Portuguese forces by undertaking radio communications with Lisbon. This was because Portuguese radio facilities over land had been destroyed by the Indian Air Force. She was also supporting the Anjadeep garrison, which was to see action later. At noon on 18th December, the chief of the naval staff, Admiral R.D. Katari, signaled Betwa, the task force commander of Goa. Capture me, a Portuguese frigate, please. Albuquerque was at anchorage inside Mormugao Harbor, getting ready to sail. The task force immediately shaped course into Mormugao Harbor at best speed. With a signal to Albuquerque, surrender or I open fire. It might be of interest that Murmugal then was an unknown harbor. When Albuquerque did not surrender, an avalanche of broadsides falling from the four and a half inch guns of the task crew. The very second broadside was a direct hit, enjoying Albuquerque's captain and incapacitating several others. The task force continued pounding Albuquerque as she attempted to leave harbor and nibbled among ships at anchorage. 
for over 10 minutes, Albuquerque was continually hit, and soon huge flames were visible mid-ship. She soon turned towards Murugao Harbour, hoisted the white flag, and surrendered by beating herself. The Navy's resolute action of Murugao Harbour had badly shaken the edifice of the Portuguese rule in India. As the Army and Air Force continued its operations to take over Goa, Navy had one more formidable task the capture of Anjadeep Island. In the early hours of 18th December, Trishul and Mysore boarded the Portuguese garrison on the Anjadeep Islands in preparation of the landing. In an act of perfidy, the Portuguese garrison hoisted the white flag indicating surrender. Shortly thereafter, the first wave disembarked from Trishul, led by Lieutenant Arun Odetto. As the second wave, led by senior commissioned gunner Noel Kelman, was closing the island, the Portuguese garrison rained bullets on it in defiance to the international norms. Mysore and Trishul responded vigorously, delivering accurate gunfire through their 4.7-inch Bofos guns. A third landing party went ashore to suppress the garrison. As the gunfight continued, and naval ships continued hitting positions on the island, the Portuguese realized the futility of any resistance. By 1400 hours that day, the landing parties had achieved their aim. The Portuguese surrendered, and the tricolor was proudly hoisted on the flagstaff point. The maiden landing operation by the Indian Navy against hostile forces had come to a successful close. This fierce exchange caused deaths of seven brave sailors whose names are proudly etched on the Anjadi Memorial. It is befittingly symbolic that weakness at sea brought about India's colonization in the 15th century. At the same time, daring action by the Indian Navy at sea in 1961 also helped bring it to a close 450 years later. The Navy's role is not just to do with the liberation of Goa along with Daman and Diu, but also see the nation write the epitaph on the unfinished chapter of India's colonization. And as I narrate this story today, I am filled with part nostalgia and part pride. For the Indian Navy, commissioning of Mormongal goes beyond adding another warship. It also celebrates the deep historical connect that the Navy has with the liberation of Goa and the end of colonization. And as you gather here this evening to partake in this celebration and wish good fortune to me, please do also share my legacy, my pride, for it's a shared one. This glorious chapter of India's and the Indian Navy's history would continue to motivate me and generations of officers and sailors who sail upon me, meeting the Navy's and the nation's missions and expectations. Jai Hind!
Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Damle, former Commander in Chief, Southern Naval Command, Vice Admiral Ajit Kumar, former Commander in Chief of Western Naval Command, uh, Sri Krishna Salkar, MLK, Bosco, the Gama, where this model will be placed. Sri Sankal Pamonkar, MLA Marmugao, after which the ship is named. Admiral uh, Praveen Nair, Flag Officer Commanding Western Fleet, under which the ship will operate, already operating. Admiral Theophilus, Flag Officer Goa Naval Area. Uh, Sri Garish uh, Borkar, Chairman, Municipal uh, Council of Marmugao. Veteran flag officers, Veer Naris, including uh, Mrs. Audito and Mrs. Bandula, eminent citizens from across the state of Goa, commanding officers, officer in charges, directors, uh, members from the media in large numbers, uh, ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to all of you. At the outset, uh, I would like to thank Dr. Pramon Savan the Honorable Chief Minister of Goa, to uh, find time in this uh, busy schedule and take part in uh, uh, this uh, event here for unveiling of the replica or the model of INS Marmuga, or the ship which is in front of you. This also happens to be our latest uh, uh, stealth destroyer of the Indian Navy. Uh, for your information, uh, if I am not revealing a state secret, the next ship is going to be commissioned on 26th at Mumbai. Uh, as was highlighted uh, uh, during the evening's program, the state of Goa and the Indian Navy have had a long history uh, since its uh, uh, liberation. And uh, today happens to be the eve of uh, the liberation of Goa. Today also happens to be the first birth anniversary of the ship INS Marmugova because it was exactly one year back that it was commissioned at Goa and we had the uh, presence of the Honorable Chief Minister and Honorable Governor of Goa in that event. I can say with confidence uh, that uh, the state government has been uh, most uh, uh, helpful in extending us all support uh, since I think time immemorial. Uh, many of uh, the veterans here can vouch for that because they have operated from here, from Aina Sansa. But uh, in my own uh, uh, 37 years plus service, whenever I have visited uh, Goa, whether the ship or otherwise, we always find found smiling faces and uh, helping hands to support the Navy. So thank you very much uh, uh, for the, the state of Goa and the administration of Goa. Uh, you would know, sir, that uh, several key naval facilities uh, operate in and off Goa, whether it is our high flyers in the skies at Ansa, uh, which is the largest air base for the Navy, our mappers and chart keepers who train at the National Institute of Hydrography, our center of higher strategic thinking and study of war in the form of Naval War College, which is at Panjim. Uh, the training center for uh, marine commandos at uh, NSWTTC, again at Panjim. Uh, the Navy has a multi-dimensional uh, uh, presence in the, in the state of Goa. Now adding 
to this mix of institutions and organizations. We have the surface evident element in the form of this fantastic warship in front of you. I would say that naming a warship on Marmogao is not a small matter, but a significant step to recognize and acknowledge Goa's contributions over centuries to India's maritime and nautical prowess. As an aside, I had a small role to play. I was telling the Honorable Chief Minister that as the head of the Norman Clearchur Committee at the Naval Headquarters from six or seven years back, we then had decided that it is very surprising that we don't have a name of a ship uh, after our, one of our frontline uh, maritime states. And that is where we collectively took a decision, I think it was 2016 or so, uh, that there has to be a INS Marmoga. So it's a life you know, circle, it comes down. And I didn't know then that at some point of time, we'll be standing here as, uh, in front of you all. Uh, but today is a day to celebrate uh, the present uh, as a cutting edge contemporary warship. I think it matches with uh, any warship in the world. It is a matter of pride for every Indian that this destroyer features indigenous technologies comparable uh, with the best of the world, uh, in the world, as I said. I believe the audience uh, has already been introduced with what all uh, this ship has, so I will not repeat that. Uh, I can proudly add that every weapon and sensor on this warship is either made in India or has been manufactured in India through strategic tie-up with international partners. And that adds to the, our Prime Minister's call for Admir Bharta. You would be aware that uh, our Navy Chief has already committed in multiple occasions by 2047, our Navy, your Navy, every Indian's Navy will be totally Aad Mirwan Navy. Uh, here the, uh, I would say the credit must also go to our uh, Navy's Design Bureau. Uh, the, we now call it the Warship Design Bureau. And our shipbuilders, in this case the Mazgaon Dock Limited, who have worked tirelessly to construct this warship. Of course, Goa host, also hosts uh, several shipbuilding and repair facilities the Goa shipyard being the jewel uh, in the crown of uh, these endeavors. In fact, another shipyard, the Hodi shipyard, is constructing a stitch ship, the key laying of which was undertaken in September this year by the Union Minister of State for External Affairs, uh, Srimadhi Meenakshi Lekhi. Uh, the positioning of Marmuga ship model at Bosco will uh, surely generate greater awareness mm -hmm. and understanding about the ship and its capabilities. While the ship sails the high seas, I also hope the model will inspire the Goans to understand uh, their navy better and more closely, and join the navy in large numbers in the years to come. Last but not the least, uh, I would like to congratulate the commanding officer and crew of Marmogao on the successful completion of one year of commissioning. Marmo Goa is the first destroyer to complete all weapon sensors readiness checks and, and join the fleet within six months of her commissioning. I wish the ship and all that, all those who sail in her the very best for their future endeavors. I can only advise the ship and the ship's crew that depending, seeing the security situation around our country, keep your powders dry and be always combat ready because we don't know when you will be told to sail in the harm's way. I wish you fair winds following seas. Once again, I want to thank the Honorable Chief Minister of Goa for giving your time and all the dignity present here. Thank you very much. Jai Hind, Shano Varuna. Thank you, sir. Sir, I request you to please be... Thank you, sir. I request the flag officer commanding in chief West Naval Command to please be seated. Good evening, friends. First, I'll say sorry for late. I think it's almost 20 minutes late for the program. Present with me for this function, our tourism minister, 
Mr. Rohan County, and the MLA Daji and uh, Sankal, the Vice, Admin uh, Vice Admiral D.K. Tripathi, the Flag Office Commander in Charge Chief, Western Naval Commander Rear Admiral C.R. Praveen Nai, Flag Officer Commanding Western Fleet Rear Admiral Ajay D. Kyobilas, Flag Officer Goa Area, the members of the Goa, from Goa Administration, Flag Officers, Commanding Officers, INS Marma Goa and her crew, the distinguished guest, the members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. I am indeed honored to be present here this evening to unveil the 35th model of INS Marma Goa. This is a proud moment for a state of Goa and I am sure this event will be the springboard, the nautical ties of the Goa shares with the Indian Navy and more so on with the INS Marma Goa in particular. I have been made aware that the indigenous content of this warship is about 75% which is a significant jump from our predecessor class of destroyers. INS Marmagoa is a true encap encapsulation of our, the spirit of the make in India and our endeavour become the Atmanilvar Bharat. The ship association with the state of Goa is a symbol of Goa's growing maritime contributions and India's technological process. I am sure the ship will be the true flag barrier of Goa all over the world as it sails across the ocean. <coughs> 18 December is a symbolic day for the number of reasons and the event could not have been held on the better day. First, this day marks as the 61 years of the start of the Operation Vijay which liberated Goa and the day is also happened to be the first anniversary of INS Mama Goa. Secondly, today is also the eve of Goa Liberation Day which the state government is celebrating with a great pride and passion on 19 December each year. I am also very happy to note that despite warship undertook the maiden trial and solitary before the commissioning on the 19 December 2021 coinciding with the Diamond Jubilee of the Goa Liberation Day. So, clearly the association with the Goa was in the Navy's planner mind even before the warship became the part of the Navy. We all know that in 1961, the Indian Navy played the crucial role in the liberation of Goa. The Goa operation was the first time that Indian Navy had engaged the Belizean Sea and the post-independence as a part of the coordinating tri-service operation. INS Marma Goa imbibes a name from the historic port city of Goa. Goa has always had a rich history and nautical heritage. It is referred to an ancient Hindu mythology and has been ruled by many dynasties such as Gojas, Konkan Moryas, Govan Shilahar, Kadambas and Vijayanagars. The empire rose and fell Goa, but it is a long history, the port city of Goa. And later the port Parma Goa was withstood the test of time. I am sure INS Parma Goa shows to the same and so the nation pride and plans for the years to come. As we celebrate the dedication of this majestic ship to the state of Goa, it is important for me to reiterate the Indian collaborative region for the ocean enumerated by our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi Ji's Sagar security and the growth for all the region encapsulated India's approach that is aimed at generating the trust and transparency. Respect for the international maritime rule and norms, sensitive to each other's interest peaceful resolutions of the maritime issue and increase in maritime cooperation. In order to protect and preserve the India's maritime interest, the strong modern Navy is a radical. I am sure INS Parmagua will stand right in the band of this endeavour of our Navy. Today, India is one of the path maritime reassurance and reclaiming our reach, seafaring the tradition of the dates back many centuries. The maritime region of many great leaders such as 
छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज एंड कानोजी आंग्रे इट इज कंटिन्यू टू इंस्पायर द सीफेरिंग द स्पिरिट ऑफ अवर नेशन नोटेड हिस्टोरियन श्री जदुनाथ सरकार एंड हैड वन सेट नथिंग प्रूव छत्रपति शिवाजी जेनुनेस एंड द बूम स्टेटमेंट्स मोर क्लियरली देन इज क्रिएशन ऑफ द नेवी एंड नेवल बेस to pay a tribute to our great chhatrapati shivaji maharaj the indian navy recently the celebrated navy day at the port of sindhudurga the unveiling of the ins parmagowa replica today is not only the another step towards strengthening the bond of navy shares with goa but also the tribute to the sacrifice of our brave soldier during the 1961 liberation of goa this warship will not only add to might the indian navy but also represent the goa at a world stage by being its flag bearer to the world i am proud to be the part of this occasion i would like to congratulate all the concerned who work tirelessly to make this project success i congratulate the commanding officer officers and crew of the parma goa who have ensured that they got this ship home for her medal anniversary i am sure that you will continue to preserve this transforming marma goa into the potent instrument of the national maritime policy may lord ramna damod the presiding deity of this locality bless this ship and crew with skill bravery and fortitude to remain the combat ready and even alert in the services of the nation aaj ke is avsar par main मुझे भाग्यशाली मानता हूँ कि मैं पहला सीएम हूँ जो नाइन्टी वन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी वन के बाद जिसका जन्म हुआ और आज ये मुझे अवसर पहली बार यानी एटीन ऑफ दिसंबर के दिन जिस दिन मुझे लगता है कि जिस दिन एक्चुअली विजय ऑपरेशन स्टार्ट हुआ था और उसी दिन यानी जो मारवागुआ सिटी से मेन ऑपरेशन हो चुका था इसी अवसर पर आज मुझे यहाँ आने का जो नेवी ने मुझे मौका दिया और खास करके वीरदारी और आप सभी वेटरन लीडर्स ऑफ द नेवी इन लोगों को मिलने का जो मौका दिया इसलिए मैं गोवा की सरकार की तरफ से गोवा के लोगों की तरफ से हमेशा के लिए आप सभी का मैं आभार व्यक्त करता हूँ और आभारी रहूँगा ये भी कहता हूँ निश्चित रूप से आप लोगों ने जो गोवा से जुड़ाव गोवा से जो नाता है वो आईएनएस एन एस गोवा हमारे वास्को सिटी में दे के और भी ज़्यादा क्लोज कर दिया है मैं आज इस अवसर पर एक ही बात कहूँगा मुझे आते आते हमारे एमएलए एल ताजी सर कृष्णा साल का बोल रहे थे देर इज अ सम प्रॉब्लम फॉर द रोड एंट्री एंड एवरी मैं बींग द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ द स्टेट जो भी कुछ आपके लिए स्टेट की तरफ से करता हूँ तो मेरा पहला कर्तव्य रहेगा आपके लिए करने का दैट इज माई प्रॉमिस फॉर द नेवी एंड डेफिनेटली सरकार की तरफ से जो कुछ हो सके आपके लिए और तो हमेशा के लिए मैं करने के तत्पर हूँ माननीय मोदी जी का सपना इस आज़ादी के अमृत काल में जो तो विकसित भारत ट्वेंटी फोर्टी सेवन का सपना हम सब देख रहे हैं माननीय मोदी जी दिखा रहे हैं वो सपना यानी आत्मनिर्भर भारत मेक इन इंडिया मेक फॉर द वर्ल्ड वोकल फॉर लोकल एंड वोकल फॉर द ग्लोबल ये सपना साकार करने में सबसे आगे कोई है तो मुझे लगता है इट इज द नेवी अगेन कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू मैं फिर एक बार आपको बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद देता हूँ और सही में विकसित भारत में सबसे आगे और सबसे ज़्यादा रोल किसी का रहेगा तो नेवी का रहेगा वंस अगेन सैल्यूट फॉर नेवी थैंक यू जय हिंद जय भारत Thank you so much, sir, for your kind words. So I request you to kind the honourable Minister of Tourism to come onto the stage and accept our token of gratitude. Thank you, sir. May I now request Sri Sankal Amonkar, MLA Mall.
Dr. Pramod Savant, Honorable Chief Minister of Goa, Sri Rohan Kante, Honorable Minister for Tourism, Government of Goa, Vice Admiral Dinesh Kitripati, Flag Officer Commanding in Chief, Western Naval Command, and Madhun Prakash, former Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Damle, Vice Admiral Ajit Kumar, former Commander in Chiefs of our commands, Rear Admiral Srikhande, Rear Admiral A.D. Theophilus, Flag of Goa area, esteemed veterans, Veer Naris, eminent dignitaries, Commanding Officer Marma Goa, other Commanding Officers, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Western Fleet, as the Fleet Commander, I would like to express heartfelt gratitude to each and every one present here with us on this occasion. The Commanding in Chief of Western Naval Command, I am really excited to be present here on uh, this occasion of unveiling of 30-foot model of INS Marmogao, named after the city of Marmogao here. We are really thankful to uh, the Honorable Chief Minister, uh, Dr. Pramod Samant, for giving his time and his, uh, some of his cabinet colleagues and the local representatives of uh, uh, the city and uh, the state to be present here. I am grateful to the large number of media personnel to cover this event. Thank you very much. The Indian Navy and the uh, city of uh, and the state of Goa have a long history. We go together, uh, I think, since the time uh, the Goa became an independent uh, unit territory, followed by state. And we are grateful to the state administration uh, for giving full support. And today is no different. This uh, function would not have been possible without the support of the state government under the leadership of the Honorable Chief Minister. So thank you very much. INS Marbagua, Ajapoya Padita Nimita, Ayjit Kalla, Ha, Programma, Kurubus Pata, Gujo Mukhamantri Muku, Postbokta, INS Mandavi, a Marbagua, Launch Kerpaki, Mumbai, Mazgao Doctor Havasino, and he asks, First Padita Nimita, who character of Goya Zata, and he came with Kubarista, Jusri Gazal, how Kurukurus Sabista Goykarachavati, and he goes Sarkarchavati, how INS Marbagua, Purai Timike. खूब खूब धन्यवाद मंडा, खूब खूब तेज़ आभिनंदन करता, कर देते ने आईएनएस मार्मागोवा जो मॉडल हम जा वास्को शहरात दोवरपाक तंजने दिलो, क्या बदले भी हम तंजे मनापसुन आभार मंडा, यह आईएनएस मार्मागोवा जो मॉडल सातत्या वास्को शहरात पहला उपरात, खूब से टूरिस्ट हम सर एट्रैक्ट करते हैं, � INS Marmagua, Ame, Amcha Main, Hutatma Sauka Jana Poetale, and the Hutatma Sauka Poeta of Grand Shishko in youth inspired the Tale, Navy was part, military was part, and Amka, Nichitritia, Samesta Goy Sarkaragani Goykaran, Amcha Chalanted Youth, He, Navy Gelleza, Aria, INS Marmagua Pasu, a Kumpota Pramana's inspiration to the Navy Voyche, our Perdigna. आइस खूब मनापसुन कोच पकता करन एका वर्षा जा उपरांत पर देखा आईएनएस मार्मागुआ मगर पोलोपाची संध बेरी जी मार्मागुआ हमें स्वतः मुझे आमी जैसे मंडा कि गोई चेनाव जग भर कर पा खातिर आईएनएस मार्मागुआ ही भी एक खूब पोठा प्रमाणत मार्मागुआ हम जा पूर्व सिटी चेनाव एक गोई भर जाता नहीं तित्या निमित्त बहुत बहुत अभिनंदन करता हूं कि आईएनएस मार्मागुआ के इस फर्स्ट बर्थ एनिवर्सरी पे मुझे यहां आने का मौका मिला इसका अनवेलिंग जो मेरे हाथों से माजगांव डॉक मुंबई पे हुआ था और एक साल के एक्जेक्टली बाद और वो भी विजय ऑपरेशन के दिन साठ बासठ साल पहले जिस दिन विजय ऑपरेशन गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ने किया था इसी मार्मागुआ सिटी से इसी मार्मागुआ सिटी में आई एन जो नेवल बेस सिटी है यहाँ पे आई उनका सेलेब्रेशन करने में उन्हें हमें निहोता दिया हमें इन्वॉल्व किया इसलिए मैं आईएनएस मार्मागुआ के पूरी टीम का बहुत बहुत अभिनंदन करता हूँ और खास करके आईएनएस मार्मागुआ ने जो मॉडल हम हमारे वास्को सिटी में हुतात्मा चौक में प्लेस करने का मौका दिया है और हुतात्मा चौक में जो आई एन का मॉडल हम प्लेस कर रहे हैं इसके लिए भी मैं उनका बहुत बहुत अभिनंदन करता हूँ निश्चित रूप से इस आईएनएस एन एस का मॉडल देख के 
गोवा का हर एक यूथ इंस्पायर होगा नेवी में जाने के लिए और इसी तरह से उनका इंस्पिरेशन आईएनएस एन परमो को देख के हमेशा के लिए बढ़ता रहे बस मुझे लगता है कि मेरे पूरे चीफ मिनिस्टर्स के कार्यकाल में इससे बड़ा कार्यक्रम हो ही नहीं सकता है क्योंकि विजय ऑपरेशन के दिन बासठ साल के बाद इसी मारमागुआ सिटी से जो विजय ऑपरेशन का मेन सिटी था और उसी दिन आज बासठ साल के बाद एज गोवा चीफ मिनिस्टर मुझे यहाँ आके मिला और वही जो आ, पूरे वेटरन नेवी ऑफिसर्स उनको मिलने का योग मिला लेकिन वेटरन नारी उनको सबको मिलने का योग मुझे आईएनएस मारवागवा के इस टीम ने दिया मैं हमेशा के लिए ये आईएनएस एन मारवागवा की फर्स्ट एनिवर्सरी और अनवेलिंग ऑफ द मॉडल मुझे हमेशा के लिए याद रहेगा बस फिर एक बार मैं नेवी को सैल्यूट करता हूँ थैंक यू जय हिंद जय भारत